Welcome to Coral Springs, Florida, folks. And with the welcome sign, everything under the sun, you know what? They're not kidding. Coral Springs has something for just about everyone. With something for everyone, Coral Springs is a great place to start a new chapter in your life. Whether you're moving with your family, looking to start a new career, looking to just change locations, or looking for little changes in attitude for changes in latitude, okay, Coral Springs is a place to be. So, folks, what do you need to know about moving to Coral Springs in 2023? So, first and foremost, you're going to want to know about housing and housing options, okay? And again, Coral Springs has something for just about everyone, whether it's a condo, a townhome, a villa, a single family home, and whether it's budget conscious or whether you're just kind of going whole hog on the luxury side, okay, Coral Springs has something for everyone in the housing perspective. You're also going to want to kind of take into consideration some of the key factors when choosing a place to move to. You want to look at basically the job market, the local economy. You want to look at kind of what's going on around here. What are the local amenities, arts? museums, entertainment, dining, all those kind of things you want to take into consideration also. And then finally, you want to really get to know the area around Coral Springs. So we're going to talk about all three of those. Now, Coral Springs does tend to be a little bit more expensive, but it's still on the less expensive side, comparable to some of the local neighbors like Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, Parkland, Miami, Miami, Miami Beach. The cost of living is about 17% higher than the national average, and housing prices do run about 48% higher than the national average. But when you factor in kind of what you get with these houses, with a lot of the housing down here, as compared to other places, okay, I think it, it really almost balances out. You're going to get homes that are much better appointed, a little bit more on the luxurious side, a little bit more on the complete side, okay, and you're gonna see it's gonna be a little bit more land, a little bit bigger rooms, a little bit more room to move around. Now, kind of balance that out. Meaning household income in Coral Springs is around $77,000. So it is a little bit higher than a lot of the other areas, of the neighborhood areas, and it's significantly higher than the national average. And also take into consideration Florida being a tax-friendly state, okay, there is no state income tax down here in Florida. So you actually get to keep a little bit more of what you earn by, the, by virtue of the fact that you're not you don't, have to, you don't have to, you're not having state income tax withheld. However, and there's always a however, folks, however, given the fact that we have over 300 days of sunshine every year, okay, your utility costs, especially in the summertime, the air conditioner running, your utility costs are going to be a little bit higher than the national average, and it's going to be even a little bit higher than some of our northern neighbors up the northern part of the state, going up towards Cocoa Beach, the Daytona Beach, or even into Jacksonville. It is warmer down here in Coral Springs, as well as some of our neighboring communities like Coconut Creek and Fort Lauderdale. But me personally, okay, I will gladly pay a few bucks more a month for greater utilities to have all of this sunshine, fresh air, to be able to go outside so many days out of the year and basically have a year round climate. So basically folks have asked me, so Kev, when you talk about a little bit higher utility bills, what are we talking about? Okay. Well, here's, here's what we're talking about. Now we're from Northeast Georgia. Okay, and in our, our house up in Northeast Georgia, we were paying about $125 to $135 a month, um, average throughout the year, for heating and air conditioning. Down here, in a similar size property, so you're going to be paying between $175 and $200 a month for utility costs in Coral Springs, as it's a lot warmer for a lot longer in Coral Springs and the surrounding area. And folks, this is also dependent upon the size of the, of the unit. If you're in a condo, it's, good. it's a little bit smaller. You're gonna be paying a little bit less. If you're in a much larger single family home, four or five bedroom, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 square foot single family home, you're probably gonna be paying a whole lot more. So it really kind of comes down to what you're looking for and what size home you're in, you're looking to be in. Now, the other thing too is, is that actually location also plays an even a bigger role in this. If you are closer to a body of water, if you're closer to the beach, if you're closer to a golf course, then you're also gonna be subject to a little bit higher rate, higher cost from the standpoint of, you know, of the amenities that are around. If you're closer to the beach, okay, you're gonna be subject to some of the weather conditions that are going on. You may be running your air conditioner a little bit longer for a little bit lower to kind of keep some of that humidity out of the air. So again, you know, in addition to being in Coral Springs and in South Florida, where you are in relation to other things that are going on down here can also play a role in some of those utility costs. So the other thing, one other thing to keep in mind is a lot of the cost of the utilities are really gonna depend upon how energy efficient your home is. If you've gone through the, the effort of either finding or making your home energy efficient, by that I mean look, looking, putting in impact windows, having a high efficiency air conditioner, having everything sealed up, 
then it's going, your utility costs are going to be a little bit lower than if you were to get something that has not been made energy efficient or something that has traditional windows in there. So again, there's a lot of variables that go into it, but looking from the standpoint of living here in Coral Springs, you have some latitude over how much utilities you're going to pay, but you're also going to be looking at somewhere between $175 to $200 a month for the basic utility cost. So the most significant factor when you're figuring out where to move here in Coral Springs is going to be where do you want to live and what do you want to live in. So the housing market in Coral Springs right now is considered a neutral market. So what does that really mean? That really means that basically there is, it's not a strong seller's market, it's not a strong buyer's market, it's kind of leveling out, which for, for many buyers, for many folks that are thinking about moving here to Coral Springs, that's, a, that's great news because as recently as six to nine months ago, Coral Springs was a very strong seller's market. Now, you sellers, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to sell your home, okay? And, what it, and for you buyers, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to afford to buy the home. What it means is that things are beginning to balance out a little bit, and, it, and the factors that go into that are, are very, very simple factors. It basically comes down to the rules of supply and demand. When there was a high demand for property here in Coral Springs, and there was a low supply, it was a seller's market. If there becomes a high supply of property, here in Coral Springs and low demand, it becomes it becomes a buyer's market. So, but where we are right now is things are kind of kind of leveling out from where they've been over the past nine months to 12 months, to even the past year and a half. Um, you know, we're getting back close to back to way to what we call what we refer to as pre-pandemic conditions. One of the things that we are also seeing here in Coral Springs is we're seeing more and more inventory coming onto the market which is a very, very good thing because it it's also going to continue to lead towards market rationalization and market stabilization. So I guess the first question that most, I guess the first question to be asking really is, what's the average sale price for homes here in Coral Springs? Okay, And the average sale price is, over the past six months, the average sale price has been about $551,000 to $555,000, which is actually very, very good. It's a, that's a, that is a 4% increase over what the, co the average sale price was last year. Now. There's a difference between average sale price and average list price. So both so sellers listen carefully. What this really means is that that $551 to $555,000 sale price, that represents about 96% of what the list price was. So buyers, when you're coming down here to look, look at the list price, but understand that on an average, the sale price or the close price is about 96% of that. Sellers, when you're looking to list and sell your property, keep that in mind. If there's a number that you have to hit when you're looking to sell your property, okay, you want to make sure that you factor in the fact that it's not 100%. The days of getting 100, 105, 110, 115% of the list price, those days right now, they're gone. And we're not going to see those for quite some time if we ever see them again. So it's balancing out. certainly encourage you to reach out give us a call shoot us a text shoot us an email DM us okay or you can jump to the head of the line by going in and clicking on the zoom link a calendar invite where you can sit and we can chat and talk for about 40 to 45 minutes about Coral Springs or any other real estate related questions or issues that you may have so just feel free to reach out and let us know that we are the folks that answer the phone and we are the folks that go back and respond to the emails when we talk about everything under the sun, we mean it. So we're going to go ahead and kind of finish up our video here at Three Friends Park. It's one of the most beautiful parks here in Coral Springs. It's a small little park, but it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. As a matter of fact, you can see folks, just come on. Folks are coming right behind us. They're coming right. There's a dog park very close by to it. So here we go. Folks are just going to go ahead and we're just going to follow behind them. Perfect. So yeah. All right. If you're like me, every side's a good side, right? One of the things we want to look at is a job market, okay? The job market in Coral Springs has grown by 1.9% since 2021, which given the pandemic and everything that's kind of fallen afterwards, is actually very, very competitive growth, okay? It's an excellent sign for moving to the area and looking for a job. Now, the unemployment rate here in Coral Springs is 2.4% which is actually lower than the state of Florida, which is 2.85%, and it's much lower than a national average of 3.5%. So what that really means is finding a job here in Coral Springs, okay, is going to be easier than a lot of the other areas around here, especially areas like Deerfield Beach and Coconut Creek. The job opportunities here in Coral Springs are very, very diverse. You have things like healthcare, you have retail, you have education, you have high tech, financial services. There's all kinds of job opportunities here in Coral Springs. So what that really means is if you are contemplating coming down, okay, we got great property values. We've got a nice neutral market. So come on down and great job opportunities. Coral Springs is generally considered a safe place to live. 
Crime grade gives Coral Springs an overall grade of an A minus. Violent crime is a B minus. Property crime is an A minus, and other crime is basically a B. So what that really comes down to me being is that, like most areas, there are some areas that are a little bit more prone to trouble. But for the most part, Coral Springs in and of itself is considered to be a very, very safe area to be in. Okay. Now, it ranks in the 80th percentile for safety. What that really means is that 80% of the cities of similar size and similar makeup of Coral Springs are less safe than Coral Springs, and Coral Springs is basically safer than the 80% of those. Okay. And there's about 20% that may be a little more safer, but Coral Springs overall, from a safety perspective, is considered to be a very safe place to live. And it's a very family-friendly area as well, but we'll get into that. Coral Springs is part of the Broward County Public School System. That's the sixth largest school system in the nation. There's a huge opportunity for all kinds of educational advancements here in Coral Springs. In addition to being the sixth largest in the country, it's the second most significant school system here in the state of Florida. There's over 240 public, private, and charter schools, educational centers, and technical colleges. Okay, Coral Springs has three high schools, four middle schools, and 12 elementary schools. And there's also a significant number of private and parochial schools in the area as to offer up alternatives to public education. Coral Springs is known for its many, many things to do and many, many places to go. As a matter of fact, we're in the second today of the over 40 parks here in Coral Springs. In addition to the over 40 parks, there are numerous other recreational activities, recreational facilities available here in Coral Springs. Now, some of the parks may have an entry fee, which is understandable, some of the amenities that they offer, but most of the parks, folks, it's free. It's our favorite four-letter word. Free. Okay. I think a lot of people like that. Yeah, people, a lot of people like that word. Okay. The other thing is, is the city of Coral Springs also offers a variety of community and recreational programs and events for folks of all ages. So again, whether you're coming down here with children and family, whether you're coming down here looking to retire, whether you're somewhere in betwixt and between, there's something to do for everybody. As I said, Coral Springs motto is everything under the sun. And there's also things to do like the annual food and wine festival, the annual tree lighting, okay, and the annual golf tournament. So folks, as I said, everything under the sun here in Coral Springs, something for everybody to do. Recreational facilities, beautiful parkland, all kinds of fun things to do. And again, whether you're starting a family, whether you're looking to retire, there's all kinds of stuff happening in Coral Springs. Zumba classes, fitness classes, all kinds of clubs and all kinds of arts and crafts. And there's even community centers that put on plays and put on shows. Again, going back to Coral Springs' motto, everything under the sun is here. Well, Kev, why don't you go ahead and tell them about the activity we did at the Panthers' Den? Oh, great idea, Suze. Actually, one of the things they had was the start of the hockey season. They actually had the Florida Panthers come out to the Panthers' Den, which is their practice area. And folks were coming out there, got to meet the Panthers, got to find out some information about them, see what was going on, see what was happening. A at kid's face. When the kids, kids got face painting done, we got you got a chance to win some tickets to some of the shows, some nice little t-shirts, a whole lot of swag coming out of there for the Panthers. It was a great time to have it. They had food trucks that came out to take care of everybody, anything that anybody could want. And they had a concert. A little concert, exactly. Keep going, Susan. A little concert going on, <laughs> all kinds of great stuff going on. And that's just one of the many things that they have going on down here in Coral Springs. We hope you found our video interesting, informative, and entertaining. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out and drop us a note. You can send us an email, send us a text. You can sign up for the, hit the Zoom link, sign up for a quick Zoom call, 40 to 45 minutes, answer any and all questions that you may have about Coral Springs or the surrounding, any of the areas surrounding the Fort Lauderdale area.